Hey everyone, Kimo here, and that's my dog Kubo. And we're here on our patio just enjoying the weather, enjoying the birds chirping, and we are about to embark on another DIY project. This time, it's going to be a pet portrait that we'll do using a layered collage technique. It's for my friend Christina, who's a huge animal lover and advocate, and does a ton of volunteer work for the local Humane Society, as well as the local Bulldog Rescue. And she and I are actually about to start a new nonprofit that we're going to announce in just a few weeks from now. This is a great project that you can do for yourself or you can give as a gift to somebody who's a huge dog lover like my friend Christina. But before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to be notified of the latest and greatest video updates that we publish every Sunday on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in a comment down below what your favorite dog breed is. I'd love to know. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a professional artist and designer. I've had my work displayed in galleries and also at various shows. And what I've found over the years is that there are a few simple techniques that you can do, that anyone can do, to really help you make some unique and beautiful works of art. Let me show you some of the materials that we'll be using for our layered collage pet portrait. First, of course, we need a canvas, so I've got a canvas here. We also need pictures of our subject matter, and in this case, I've chosen to just steal a picture off of Christina's Facebook page of one of the, the bulldog fosters that she has in her care. And you can see that I've used some filters to create an image that will help me to cut out specific areas of the image. I also have a variety of papers that we'll be using today, including some leftover scrap paper. I've got some beautiful wrapping paper that I haven't used before, as well as an Italian songbook because once upon a time I used to be a vocalist. But my secret weapon today is carbon paper, and you'll see why carbon paper plays such an important role in pulling off this technique today. So I guess without any further ado, let's get going. So I've got this really fantastic wrapping paper that I haven't used and it just has this lovely turquoise color with this gold print on it. And so I'm going to use this wrapping paper as our background and I'm simply going to decoupage it in strips onto our canvas, making sure that we get around the edges as you can see here. Decoupage glue needs to go on both sides of the paper. And of course, we need to finish off on the other end. And we're gonna repeat this several times as we achieve a solid background. Now we didn't have to rip it. We could have put an entire sheet down, if you will, but I wanted to give the piece some dimension so I decided to rip the wrapping paper instead to give it some subtle texture. My goal is to cover the entire canvas so none of the white is peeking through. And we're almost there. I'm just decoupaging the final couple of pieces onto our canvas. And then after that's done, we're gonna let it dry completely for the next step. So while our decoupaged canvas is drying, it's time to choose some papers that will form the image of the bulldog. I'm ripping out a page from my songbook and that will be the foundation of our image. And here's where our carbon paper comes to the rescue. I put the carbon paper black side down onto the page of music 
and the image on top, and that way I'm able to simply trace the outline of our bulldog image directly onto the page of music. Now, let's cut out the outline that forms the bulldog image. It's looking great, and this will be the first layer of our bulldog collage. Now it's time to trace out other sections of our image that we will layer on top of the first. After carefully cutting out each section, it's good to put it on the original image just to see how it fits. So now we have a bunch of sections already cut out and we're ready to layer them on our canvas. You can see that I've put a number on the back of each section to help me remember where each section goes. Now we decoupage each section onto our canvas, starting with our first layer, which of course is the page of music. After that dries, we're going to use carbon paper again to trace out where each section goes. Using our lines as a guide, now we simply start to layer on the different sections onto the canvas. For some reason, I just love using my fingers to smooth out any wrinkles. I'm painting on one last layer of decoupage glue all over our bulldog image. And after letting that dry yet again, I'm using our photocopied image as a guide to simply add some texture and some outlines onto our image with a Sharpie. This is where you can get really artistic. The lines that I'm adding really add a textural and sketched quality to our image. And don't forget to sign your name. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for the latest and greatest videos that I publish every Sunday. And we'll see you around.